Shalom family. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Yurim Shalom Trust. If you are new to this channel, don't hesitate to press the subscribe button and be part of the family. My name is Abon Kostube, the founder and executive director of Yurim Shalom Trust. Here on YouTube channel, we often talk about those topics that help uh, people live better in this time of the living. We are so into the communities to see them uh, making a huge difference. It is our job. So today I come with another drive on a subject and tackled why don't people accomplish their life goals. Um, one of the reasons that um, people cease to accomplish their life goals it is because many of them they are not specific enough in regards to their life goals. When you ask someone what you want to achieve in this time of the living, the person who will tell you an, another statement that you can't even you yourself understand. Uh, allow me call it vacuum. This is me. Mean, this means people will often tell you things that are intangible. One might be saying, "I would like to be rich." One might be saying, "I would like to to be famous." Many a times, these are the responses that people often say when you ask them what they want to become or what um, uh, they want to achieve in this time of the living. However, I have just few items that I will drop to you. There are six in number, which uh, many a times cause people not to achieve their life goals. I will urge you to, to listen attentively and make it sure that you grasp this um, point and that will help you. Number one, they, are, they have too much doubts. On the other hand, they want to achieve a particular thing, but they doubt too much. Will I ever make it? Will this state of my economy ever up, allow me to reach this particular goal? They have a lot in their mind. They doubt if they will make it in life. Number two, they are not working for it. Some people have only, I mean, they have their goals in, in their minds. They don't even take an action to press towards their life goals. This kills people many times. Number three, their goals are not motivating. When we are talking of uh, life goals, life goals ought to motivate us, the owner of them. You as an individual, your life goals ought to motivate you first before they motivate the next person. You must wake up early in the morning. The moment you think of your goals, you feel, yes, I will make it. Yes, let me strive on. Let me strive towards the mark. Yes, let me do this so to accomplish my life goals. There is a lot that needs people to do. You need to be motivated by your life goals. Number four, they are not committed into their goals. They just wish they, will, they may accomplish. They just wish to accomplish their life goals, but they are not committed. They don't research. They don't do various things that will help them see better, achieve their life goals. They just silence. They are just silence. They don't want to do something. They don't want to, to, to inquire from those who have made it before them. They don't want to, to find out how to do this, how to accomplish these things that are needed for you to accomplish a particular goal. You need to be very committed so to make it in this life. Number five, they give unnecessary excuses. You find out that someone will say, ah, I'm from a poor family. Therefore, I can't make it. I'm from a poor, a discouraging background. Therefore, these things can't be achieved by such like us. These are unnecessary excuses. I've come to encourage you. With whatever 
that you are facing. Don't concentrate on your situation. Strive towards the mark. I'm telling you, you will make it in Jesus' name. It is very possible to make it. We only need to be committed and never allow ourselves to put up unnecessary excuses. This will not help us. Number six, they give up too soon. I wrote a book, my, my first book is actually entitled Quitting is Not an Option. So, many people, they see accomplishing their life goals because they decide to quit so soon. Quitting is not an option, family. You need to strive towards the mark. Come rain, come thunder. Be strong and of good courage. Make sure you keep following that which you want to achieve. In due season, you will see the goodness of the Almighty God over your life. So thank you, family. I love many of you here. It's a shalom. Don't forget to like, share, and leave us a comment. Till next time, shalom.